good morning dear students welcome back uh, for the same uh, concept that is lagrangius linear partial differential equation so again with the uh, small uh, uh, recall so uh, the standard form is pp is equal to qq is equal to r where p q r are the functions of x and y x y z and uh, the auxiliary equation uh, i can say for the given linear uh, uh, Lagrange's linear equation is what here dx upon p, dy upon q, and dz by r. So today in this class we'll see uh, if uh, one pair is possible to integrate easily, and uh, if you choose uh, another uh, pairs, so from where we can't uh, possible we can will not easily possible to integrate. In such situation we need to uh, choose a multipliers, and we need to get the solution in such cases. So, like that examples we will see in uh, today's class and the question is solve xp minus yq is equal to y square minus x square. This is a given question now. So, which is most repeated in example uh, examination also. Now, the given question as it is. So, this is you check this is of the form pp qq is equal to r form where p is nothing but the x value q is nothing but minus times y, y minus because the standard formula says plus times so that's why it is minus times y and right hand side complete is nothing but the value of capital R so therefore the auxiliary equation is given by dx upon p is equal to dy upon q is equal to dz upon r so where the value of p you substitute it is x value of y uh, q is minus y and value of capital R is y square minus z square now so here in this expression so I if I choose first two pair it is easily integrable just see so on choosing first and second fraction I can say first and second fraction what is first fraction dx upon x and second fraction is what here dy upon y it is minus y i will write minus sign here or take inside or dx upon x plus dy upon y equal to 0 but you can find here no need to uh, 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 interchange the cross multiplication because dx is with the variable x and dy is with variable y in previous classes we have seen dx is not with respect to x and dy is not with the y so that's why we have cross multiplied but in this case so x is with the dx only y with uh, y is with dy so no need to cross multiply and only we need to go direct integration so on integration on integration we get so integration of 1 upon x dx plus integration of 1 upon y dy and uh, we'll choose a arbitrary constant c so what is integration of 1 upon x here it is log of x plus so it is log of y so once we uh, came to know that both are having in terms of log so we'll say this is uh, what here log c directly so we have to we'll change it so because all terms will consider in terms of log only so we know that log a plus log b can be written as what here log of a b that is log of x y is equal to log c so here this log and log cancels so we get what here x y is equal to c uh, i will say that uh, it is c1 i will consider is the solution here you can take c also or else you can consider as c1 also fine so i will change here only so c so I will, uh, c can be written as c1 c1 and it will become what here because log log cancel x y is equal to c1 is the first solution so because of the first two pair now if you take first and last pair so nothing is going to be cancelled it will be some what major part and second and uh, third also if you take the fraction it is also not possible to simplify the di on direct integration in such case i will consider this is equal to some result as k we'll consider some result as what here k so we have to choose now a multipliers in a such a way that so we have to multiply in a uh, uh, such uh, uh, variables so that so if I multiply on right hand side these all if you cross multiply so this right hand side should become 0 just see how to choose now 
now you just check here so I want to cancel this x minus y y square minus x y square means this should become completely zero means I need to choose choose multipliers as so I will choose this one as first multiplier as x for this I will mul uh, multiply is y okay so two multipliers here so that we get the result as so how to write here it will be x dx so sine is plus means plus y dy is equal to is equal to k times so multiply here x so I will repeat here so choose multipliers as here x here y and here so see if I multiply here x into x is x square y into or minus y into y is y square so x square plus a minus y square plus y square minus x square cancel and will get zero so therefore so next one more multiplier is one here so therefore what is get will get here plus plus 1 into dz plus 1 into dz is equal to k times this all you multiply on the right hand side so this multiplier x into this x plus this multiplier y into this that is minus y plus 1 into this y square minus z square so which is nothing but I will rewrite this sentence x dx plus y dy plus dz is equal to k times x into x because it is not possible to see plus y into minus y plus 1 into y square minus z square so just check the right hand side k into so if this whatever multipliers I am choosing if I multiply here with this denominators so this should become 0 just we will see it is becoming 0 or no if it is not becoming 0 means what multiplier we have chosen it is wrong so x into x is what here x square plus into minus is minus y into y is what here y square plus open the bracket y square sorry this is x here x square y square minus x square so this is x square so we have to it should be x square only so this cancels so we can say that 0 means what uh, multiplier we have chosen it is correct so what left hand side is there x dx plus y dy plus dz so this is now ready uh, to integrate so on integration on integration so integration x dx you can go directly also or you can write symbolically y dy plus only integration of z and the arbitrary constant I will choose as uh, some uh, a fine so integration of x is out here x square by 2 integration of y is y square by 2 plus integration of dz with respect to z is out here z is equal to a or take the LCM so LCM is x square plus y square plus 2z and uh, LCM is 2 cross multiplied to the right hand side 2a so therefore x square plus y square plus 2z is equal to I will say this is a c2 equation 2 where c2 is equal to 2a so therefore the general solution is is f of c1 comma c2 equal to 0 so c1 what we got here c1 is xy write it xy f of c1 is nothing but xy and c2 is nothing but x square plus y square plus 2z equal to 0 so this is a required solution of the given Lagrange's equations